Good morning everyone, this is Prem's Crypto Market Update for January 1st, 2019. Welcome everyone, Happy New Year, market cap is 2 billion down, we're doing 126 billion. Last 24 hours, there's 13 billion dollars of uh, volume, a BTC dominance of 51.8%. Um, Bitcoin is doing 37.41, it's t minus 2%, uh, and if you look at Ripple, 2.5% down, doing uh, 35 cents right now. If you look at the top 10, we can see 3 to 4%, well not, 2 to 3% basically generally down. Um, and let's have a look at the coins which have done well in the last 24 hours. We can see Raven up 38%, Vertasium up 7.5%, Mobile go up 7%, and Holo up 6%. The coins which have not done that well are Dex, 33% down, Komodo, 15% down, <coughs> Baguria coin, 14% down, Pufix, Pifix, 11% uh, down, and Pundix, 11% down. Now, what is going on with Bitcoin? It's hovering around the $3,700 level. Um, <coughs> as we can see, that the moving average, the 50-day moving average, has touched the $4,000 level. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, soon uh, where we can see basically that there is more downward pressure uh, uh, in the coming uh, weeks, months than there is right now. If you look at what's the relative strength index doing, it's at 44%. And um, yeah, I mean, we see a couple of dojis in the couple of days. So the market is really consolidating at the same time, confused which way to go. All right, so let's look at the news. The news comes from Bact. Bact raises 182 million from Microsoft and other big name investors. <coughs> so Bact on Monday announced the completion of its first funding round, uh, and they collected in total 182.5 million. The platform, which aims to offer the first Apple Bitcoin settled futures contract in the coming year, says it's going ahead this plan irrespective of the current market conditions. So I think it's a good news. Uh, a part of this uh, uh, investors in this roundtable are Boston Consulting Group, um, CMT Digital, Eagle Seven, Galaxy Digital, uh, Goldfinch Partners, Allen Howard, Horizon Ventures. Intercontinental Exchange, Microsoft Venture Capitalist, um, Pantera Capital, M12, PayU, and many, many others. So I think it's um, really fantastic that they were able to raise so much money for their platform. All right, then if we go ahead at Tron, so 1 million crypto accounts and counting with eye on blockchain gaming. Tron is to be known, and Justin Sun, the CEO of uh, Tron, uh, is known for <clears throat> in the gaming world, basically. And with 1 million crypto accounts, Tron is definitely beating EOS and Ethereum uh, in uh, pr producing uh, decentralized apps. <clears throat> the last news comes from Tony Robbins. Uh, Tony Robbins, the um, motivational guru, explains how Bitcoin works to his 3 million followers. So, um, you know, uh, uh, Tony, a life coach, a motivational speaker with, on Twitter, more than 3 million followers, has been talking uh, to uh, make people understand what's going on uh, in uh, uh, um in the world of cryptos. So according to him, no bank, no government, no company or individual owns the network and has control over its own. It means that your account can never be frozen by a government uh, agency or devalue your currency. It can be used in every country. So this is something uh, Tony Robbins talked about and uh, you know it's very good that other influencers are also talking positive about what's going on into the market. All right, this was the news for today. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe. Go to our website, bitcoinmagazine.nl, and I hope to see you on the next one.